In this video, we're going to show you how to rig our flat water free ride no cam sails. At the base panel of the sail, you will find the, the sail size, the mast length, the laugh length, and extension. So you just have to set the extension to the right setting. So if it's written 38, you put extension on 38. If you're not using a 0.7 extension, you can use the quick tuning extension. By, so here you can put the rollers next to the first triangle and you can put the ring exactly where it tells you to put it. So here in this case we have 38 and as you can see it's actually fitting 38, 38. So even if you don't have a point stone extension just use this method to measure your extension size. When the sail is new the first thing to do before even rigging the sail we advise to tune the buttons. The buttons are kind of already pre-tuned in the factory but if you want to be sure that you're tuning them perfectly the best thing to do is to follow a system. So if you go anti-clockwise you're actually putting pressure to the button. If you're going clockwise you're releasing the pressure from the button. So as the sail is new what we advise is to put tension on all the buttons this way. When you put button tension the button moves into the button pocket all the way inside. This way we are sure that the button, po the button is hitting the end of the of the button pocket and then we release it again so that we don't put any stress on the button at this point by doing this. We release the button till we feel that there's no more tension on the button but we're sure that the button is all the way inside. Now how much tension to put? This is very simple. We start tightening the button so moving the key anti-clockwise. At one point we will feel that there starts to be tension of the rope onto the button. At this point for all the buttons over the boom we put just one other 180 degrees of key we don't need any more pressure than that this is for all the buttons over the boom for all the other buttons so for all the buttons below the boom and for the top button we actually don't give only 180 degrees as we showed before but we give exactly 360 degrees after you have inserted the mast, always come to the top and check that the sail pin is inside the mast top. So just go inside with your finger, you feel that there's a pin from the sail and it has to go inside the mast. The first time is a bit hard, maybe that it goes in automatically, but then after the first time it would be more automatic, but always check. Once you've done hold the sail, just take the rope and place it into the pocket this way. We have the tack strap here. Tack strap, first time you, you have the sail, you will have to make it go through this way. You place, place the tack strap around the extension and you pull. How much do you pull? If you see here, now it's soft, so it will vibrate. So what you have to do, is to put tension in order to put some tension on it that it doesn't vibrate anymore and it stays rigid. You don't need to put too much this way, this is not good. Just put enough tension that it's tensioned but not and not vibrating. To overdo it, there doesn't make sense. Once you have this part, this excess of the webbing, you just can put it around here on the velcro behind and close it. When we are down holding the sail, to check if we are doing the right tension, we are down holding it to the right point, we need to check the best setting sign. We need to see that the loose area between the second and third button is coming all the way around the best uh, setting sticker. So the loose area should not stop behind the sticker, not in the middle, but exactly in the front. So we will have to see the loose area going around it, going over it. On all our sails you will find the boom length to how much to set the boom so in this case it's boom to 18 and that will be the maximum length you will have to set the boom and then you can always have 2 cm less for lighter winds. In all our sails we only have one clue. We have one clue which is exactly the position where the sail works at best. This is because it's blocking the tension from the whole leech and therefore you will have the perfect performance by using exactly this position here. So for light wind you actually 
start pulling the, the out hole. As soon as you feel tension, that will be the right spot for a light wind. In case you have like medium wind, you can pull 1 cm from when you start feeling the tension and all the way for stronger wind.